I'm sitting here with an iPad using Rebel from Escape Motions. My PC is over there, but I'm using it here. You and I both know that Escape Motions haven't done a version of Rebel for the iPad yet. Here's hoping. But I'm still able to use it here. And I can use it down here and... Oh, biscuit! <laughs> And I can use it down here in the living room and I can use it here in the dining room which is about as far away from a Wi-Fi as I can probably get without being outside. So how does that work? Let's have a look. My name is Pete. Welcome to Basement Picasso. So you can see here we have complete access to the whole Rebel interface we can use all the file menus uh, and these, these are very accessible the accuracy of the control uh, is uh, more than adequate to be able to use all these menus so we can start from the beginning if we do file new let's pick a little a4 uh, for nanopixel 2 export and i will go for a little bit of texture and OK that, and that will give us a, a new file. So you can see that we can now start painting on that quite happily. Uh, the one thing I've noticed is when you use the things like the colour pickers or pick a different colour, the first time you put uh, a stroke down, it doesn't register. Uh, it needs to know that it's back on the, the painting canvas as opposed to touching the menus. So that's something you very quickly get used to in terms of being able to uh, click a colour and then go back to painting. But the actual painting itself uh, is extremely smooth and fluid. I mean, it, it just, I can't see any lag on this at all. It is just instantaneous. It's uh, incredibly impressive how fast and responsive this is. Uh, you can obviously, this uh, with Rebel, you can use all your brushes, all your custom brushes. You have absolutely everything that you could be doing on the, the normal desktop interface. What AstroPad also gives you is this little uh, icon over at the side. And you can start to do a lot of things in terms of customising controls, adding buttons uh, and various shortcut uh, mechanisms. So. Uh, you can do things like the undo, uh, the redo. Uh, I've got controls there for paint so that I can go into the paint mode. Uh, I can go into the blend mode. I can click on the arrays and rub it out. So you can bind uh, any of these keys to any of the controls that you want. Uh, I've also got a little shortcut there for the tablet mode. Uh, and that's the equivalent of doing the uh, window tablet mode or pressing the tab key uh, and I've then uh, taken most of the controls uh, off that so if I want to just focus on the painting then I've basically got the uh, rebel canvas um, and the the whole uh, image to be able to work on so obviously the the iPad I and mean, this is an iPad Pro it's 2018 Pro 12 uh, inch screen uh, which is a good size not quite as big as the obviously the 24 inch monitor but being able to get rid of all the interface uh, and just work on the uh, image like that um, it really does uh, make it a very easy interface to work with it also supports various gestures so you can uh, pan zoom and rotate which i can't even do on my big huey on tablet so uh, that's uh, pretty impressive uh, and it also supports a uh, touch gesture so if I touch the screen you can see that it detects one finger touch as a modifier for the alt key so what I've done is I've set that to my colour picker and that way uh, I can very quickly pick colours, press down again, pick another colour um, so in terms of ease of use and speed of painting uh, these sorts of gestures uh, are <laughs> really impressive and work uh, really well. 
There's other keyboard shortcuts you can do, so you can set up some quick keys and you can have those, they'll just uh, sit there. So you can do things like the shift key, uh, you can press and hold and uh, just like on the, the main work on the computer, that will give you a straight line. Uh, it's another way to do your uh, alt key if you want to pick colours. Uh, I've got a button there that uh, switches between the tablet modes. Uh, and then I've also got one that I can press uh, and then just quickly uh, move the, the canvas around. These work seamlessly uh, and they're completely configurable so that you can uh, go in uh, and there's all sorts of configurations around things like the gestures, what you want those to do. So there's ones where you can press and hold and use the pen and then there's tap keys so you can do things like your two finger tap to undo, three finger tap to redo, uh, all works absolutely seamlessly and you can uh, configure your workspace so you can really easily uh, add and remove shortcuts, you can put separators in, you can drag these uh, up and down to put them in whichever order that you want, uh, again just a really nice simple uh, interface that works really well. One of the things I thought I was going to have trouble with, so my undo and redo, because I use a loop deck, uh, I have those bound to different keys, so I use F5 and F6. I thought, oh no, I'm not going to be able to customise a, a, a key uh, to be able to, to do that. Um, but when you uh, click on a key to set it, it brings up a Windows style keyboard, including all the function keys, so you can have any combination of things that you need with that. Uh, so it's really quick and easy to set up the shortcuts uh, that you need. Um, so in terms of configuration, uh, it's really not taking me long to uh, to set this uh, up at all. Uh, there's more things that I'll probably uh, end up uh, actually doing with it, but in terms of just uh, uh, an initial setup, uh, it's been very quick and easy to, to get that working effectively. And of course you have access to uh, all the uh, Rebel features and all the tools, so of course the uh, capabilities around uh, all the sort of watercolour tools, which is really one of the big things. So the, the texture and the watercolour are really what differentiates this from all the other tools like Photoshop, uh, Procreate uh, and so on. Uh, so being able to use these so smoothly and seamlessly uh, on the the iPad uh, for me is uh, really just uh, quite incredible um, how, how well this works. So in terms of cost, this is not cheap. Uh, I think it's about £15 a month for AstroPad. You need to install it on the PC and the iPad, but the one price covers both of that. You can get an annual price, which uh, I think is about £90 a year. But there is a 14 day free trial, so you can test it out and see if it's something that's going to, to work for you. Um, 90 pounds a year is certainly not cheap, uh, but I was prepared to consider buying something like a mobile studio pro, spend over 2000 pounds to be able to use Rebel in a more mobile way around the house so I can sit and chill and watch TV and do some painting. Um, so for me, £90 compared to £2,000 <laughs> is an absolute bargain. Uh, I was looking at other things like the Huey on Canvas tablets coming out, I was considering Surface Pro, all these sorts of things. Um, so if you have an iPad uh, and you want to uh, work on Rebel remotely, obviously you can't you know, take this outside, you can't go to a cafe and do this because you need your PC running, you need the software uh, running on that. Um, but if you want to, to be able to use Rebel uh, in another room and just sit down and chill out and do a little bit of uh, you know, drawing and painting using your favourite art package, then this solution works really, really well. I'm really impressed. So I'm not going to go through the full instructions for installing the software. It was very easy to download, set up and configure on both the PC and the iPad. It's also available for the Mac. And once the software was set up, it was then a fairly simple process to connect it to the Wi-Fi and then both bits of software recognized each other 
uh, and that was the connection established between them. Once you have the connection made, you can then launch the application on the PC. If you run it full screen, because that's 16 by 9 aspect ratio, then on the iPad you'll get black bars top and bottom. So what I do is set the application to the same aspect ratio in terms of window size as the iPad, and that way on the iPad you get a full screen to work with. I then had a look at Task Manager to see how much overhead there was while AstroPad is running. And if there's no activity on the screen, then it uses very little overhead whatsoever. So it's not streaming constantly. And it's only when you start to move and paint that it starts to uh, run and send data. But it's relatively low overhead and it didn't cause any issues with Rebel running in parallel, uh, even when I had OBS and I was doing screen recording at the time. And you can see from the two screens side by side, when there's things being moved on one, there really is no latency between the two of them. Whether you're using the uh, actions on the PC or on the iPad, the, the latency is uh, imperceptible. It really does run uh, very well. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these sorts of videos, please consider uh, subscribing, leave a like, and if you've got any thoughts, please feel free to add them to the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.